So today we're doing the speed rebuild, not a speed rebuild, the speed rebuild, where we're using the fastest player by each position. The way I found this was I went to the website called Baseball Savant and I went by position and I searched by sprint speed. So you can sprint speed and then go by each position and it'll show you the fastest player like from first to last from everybody that played that position. So their MLB The Show rating might not correspond to the real life rating, but we're going by what Baseball Savant has so with that being said i'm also using pitchers but i'm not using their sprint speed i'm going by their average velocity and i went to mlb's uh, website for that stat so i'm going for the fastest throwers or the hardest throwers and i go by the fastest players by position it's all about speed today if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content and always in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see if you guys missed last video I mean, a lot of you guys like to tell me I'm wrong and my baseball knowledge is pretty poor, but if you guys missed it, go check out the overrated rebuild and let me know how my opinion is clearly wrong. It's going to be in the top right hand corner. So today let's get into it. All social media links are down in the description below. Let's hop into the speed rebuild. All right. So starting pitching is kind of a mess because you either have to go off their average pitch speed for a certain pitch, or you have to just hopefully find one of the highest rated pitches that are like the highest velocity pitch that they threw. So what I kind of did was I either went with a pitcher who had a really high average pitch velocity so like 99 100 or I went with a pitcher who went with a who had like one or two really fast pitches throughout the year so like 102 for like one spot or 103 or something like that and then relievers they're the ones who are really throwing the gas so they're they were the pretty easy ones to find out so let's take a look at pitching first I, I know I'm covering it so starting off we're gonna have Garrett Cole he had one of the hardest thrown uh postseason pitches so he was kind of the one starter that was able to find that like kind of stood out um another one that threw gas this year in the postseason and uh, I think a little bit in the regular season as well was Bruiser Gratterall for the Twins. The dude throws gas. Um, and then we also had Dustin May, who I think hit 100 a couple times in the postseason. Hunter Harvey's average pitch uh, for his fastball was around 98, 99. And then we have Noah Syndergaard, who's just known for having a really hard fastball. So those are all the starting pitchers that I went with for this year. Relief pitchers, Diego Castillo, Jordan Hicks, Andres Munoz, Tyrone Guerrero, and Emmanuel Class. Um, Tyrone Guerrero and Jordan Hicks and then Aroldis Chapman, our closer. They were like the top four or top three for most or the highest velocity pitches all year. Like they had like all 20 spots. It was crazy. There was like three or four pitchers, Chapman, um, Hicks. I think Munoz was in there and then Tyrone Guerrero. They just throw gas and that's all they throw. And they had like the top 20 spots, all four of those guys. It was crazy. I was looking through all the list on MLB's stat cast. It was nuts. So now we're talking about actual speed. You guys saw all the pitchers that I had in there. Jose Alvarado makes an uh, appearance. Castillo. We have Munoz, Guerrero, Class, And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So then we have JT Real Muto and Jorge Alfaro for the fastest catchers. First baseman. Um, there, there was a couple different first basemen we could have went with. Danny Santana, who's kind of a utility player. Another one was Aled Miz Diaz for the Astros, kind of a utility player. But I went with like a, a pure first baseman and Yuli Gurriel and then Brandon Dixon of the Tigers. For second baseman, again, you could have a lot of utility players, but the main one was Garrett Hampson that stood out as a second baseman. For third base, um, it was actually Tommy Edmond who played, I think, third base more than any other position. I think double what he did at like shortstop or second base. So it's supposed to be Tommy Edmond, but in this uh, roster, he's considered a shortstop. So we went with Tommy Edmond. And then you also have um, a second baseman or shortstop with Marco Hernandez, who I think was second on the second base list. And then for shortstops, it was Trey Turner and Adalberto Mondesi. Another name was Miles Straw of the Astros, but he actually played the same amount of games at shortstop as he did in the outfield. So I felt like he was kind of a utility player and it was kind of tough to just consider him a shortstop. So I went with the two main shortstops in Turner and Mondesi. For left field, also the fastest guy in baseball, Tim Locastro. And then actually right behind him was Isaac Galloway for an outfield spot. We had Byron Buxton as well, Roman Quinn. And then um, Terrence Gore was another name that popped up, but our roster is full. I wanted to throw Terrence Gore in there just for the speed meme. But unfortunately, we just we just don't have the we just don't have the space to fit him in there. So that's the team. It's not great. 
I'm not expecting great things from the team. Let's go see what we're ranked. We're ranked 20th as expected. We're first in speed. We have the best defense and then pitching power is non-existent. And then you have a little bit of contact. So, I mean, when you look at the lineup, it's, it's really not a great hitting team. I expect to be number one in stolen bases, but um, it's, it's not terrible. Can we make the playoffs? It all depends on the pitching. If we get really good pitching results, we should make the postseason, but we'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys at the end of season one. So as we end the end of, or like as we end this season, it's a, it's not looking too great at all. 57 and 105, the speed team just didn't perform. Like it's, it's just not a good team. And like I said, it, it was bad offensively. It wasn't great. Pitching wasn't great. And um, I wasn't expecting too much, to be honest. We finished 34 games out in the East and in the wild card, 31 games. We were we were atrocious. So league leaders wise, Trey Turner had the most triples and Mondesi had the most stolen bases, which, you know, is, is cool, I guess. Awards, a couple gold gloves, but kind of kind of bad kind of bad as a whole let's uh let's take a look at our team see how we did as a team for stolen bases we had 163 which wasn't terrible pretty solid for the most part but um yeah let's just take a look see how things went because um i'm assuming it didn't go well for most players garrett cole was actually pretty solid Syndergaard did quite well as well dustin may did well um so the first three pretty happy with that way that went and then gratterall and harvey not great, but when you look at their ratings and their overalls, you know, it's it's not amazing. So, um, Emmanuel Clay, Class, Clay, Clays, Class A, I, I, I'm assuming, maybe Class A? I don't know. We got Tyrone Guerrero, didn't do great. Munoz, meh. Jordan Hicks, pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, Diego Castillo, meh. Alvarado, meh. And then Chapman was pretty good, pretty good indeed. The whip's a little high. Whip's pretty high, actually. You normally want about a 1.2. So probably should have maybe went Jordan Hicks here and then let these two kind of be the middle relief. Um, but pretty disappointed with the bullpen as a whole. Looking at our bench, you know, not not amazing. Not amazing at all. Um, let's see. How many stolen bases? 14 off the bench. Pretty good. Uh, what else we got? Three. Marco Hernandez had three. And then Brandon Dixon had one. So... You know, not terrible, not terrible. Mondesi, 253 average, 47 stolen bases, 39 doubles, two triples. I mean, the average is pretty bad, but overall, not terrible. Roman Quinn wasn't great. He got caught stealing quite a bit. Average is pretty low, 24 doubles. I mean, it's okay. You got Trey Turner. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know why Roman Quinn's there, but whatever i don't think it would have mattered how we ordered the team because the team was so bad 14 triples for trey turner 35 doubles 23 stolen bases a good average ops is decent as well jt real muto just seems to just do this you know maybe 260 maybe 15 home like kind of that range um in franchise which is weird because he's one of the he is probably the best catcher in baseball um he, he is he is and you know i feel like he's underrated in MLB the show for some for some reason in all rosters I don't get it um Yuli Gurriel wasn't terrible he had 14 stolen bases I'm pretty impressed with that actually 30 doubles 14 home runs pretty solid Byron Buxton just yikes 215 average struck out a lot 20 stolen bases I guess you got to get on base to actually get stolen bases so I guess that kind of hurts the team because no one's getting on base you have Alfaro who wasn't terrible at all not at all and then uh, Tim Castro, you know, not great at all. Only 74 speed. I don't get that. He is the fastest player in baseball without a doubt. Like everybody knows that. I'm not too sure why he only has 74 speed. And then Garrett Hampson in his limited appearances was pretty poor as well. So overall, a pretty disappointing team. Um, I mean, when you look at the team, you know, Mondesi's got great speed. Quinn's got great speed. Turner, Real Muto, Gurriel's like, okay, you know. Um, Buxton, Alfaro, Locastro should have like 99, like 110, like that type of speed. Like he should have his own category, like 100. And then Hampson has good speed. You got Edmund who's up there. Galloway, 
Hernandez isn't actually as high as I would have thought, but he's actually got a really high sprint speed um, for that baseball savant's like recording. So, you know, oh well. And then Brandon Dixon at 77 for a first baseman is pretty good. Upgrading the speed to like match the real life attribute really doesn't help much because if they don't hit the ball, they don't get on base, it's not really gonna help. So with this team, you're looking at a team that's purely speed. Like they're, they, they're not guaranteed to get on base. They may not be the best baseball player. And I mean, is the team terrible? In real life, I'd say this team would do a lot better than what happened in the sim. Like I expect, I'd expect at least a 500 season. You know, when you got Garrett Cole, Syndergaard, even Dustin May, who's now a rookie, doing well. Bruce Dar Gratterall's got some innings under his belt. Hunter Harvey, um, Guerrero, Munoz, Alvarado, and Castillo were a little shaky in real life. Um, kind of hot and cold. Sometimes they looked really good. Sometimes they were bouncing pitches 10 feet in front of the plate. It was, you know, kind of iffy with them. You know, Jordan Hicks, unfortunately, he got injured. He looked really good at the start of the year, but unfortunately, he got hurt. And then Chapman you know, is known for being just a hard thrown closer who gets the job done. Like he, he just does. So, I mean, there's decent players here and I feel like this in real life would have done a lot better than what they did in the sim. So unfortunately it did not work out in today's speed, the speed rebuild, not a speed rebuild, but the speed rebuild. And that's how it's going to end guys. I know it's not the most like amazing and it's pretty anticlimactic, but that's just the way things go. Sometimes they don't always go the greatest. You don't always win it all and that's kind of the theme on the channel you get knocked out by the wild card team or you don't even make the playoffs so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content and as always let me know other themes or rebuilds you would like to see in the future i know a lot of you guys are asking for off-season rebuilds once we start getting some trades or some free agency moves i will 100 bring those to the channel um i'm just waiting for some like action to start heating up in the off-season and then we'll start getting those off-season rebuilds started other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video on screen now is going to be two videos one of them's recommended by youtube that you go check out and the other one's going to be the most recent upload if you've missed any of those go give them a watch and i'll catch you all in the next video peace